Are you tired of having a boring home in Minecraft and having no friends? Well, I can't help you with the friends part, but I can help you with making your house look better for Halloween today. As you can see, we have a very boring looking home. It's an oak home. I mean, it looks good, but the wood is just ugly for Halloween. You're going to want to use a different kind of wood. Let me show you what kind of wood. The best wood that I would recommend is either mangrove or crimson planks. I would personally recommend both because one wood can be used for, you know, like entrance. And like the other wood can be used for, like, the outer side of the house. If you know what I mean. I mean, I don't know if I, I'm going to build the whole thing for out of uh, crimson planks, but I will be like, it is like an example of it, you know? It's also, let's replace those, those boring looking old clogs with mangrove logs, especially when it's stripped. Don't take that out of context. Look how much more Halloweenish that looks already. Now you're, what you're gonna wanna also do is replace that stupid oak door with a mangrove door. Ooh. Actually, instead of a mangrove door, you know what would be even better than a mangrove door? An iron door. Use pressure plates, black pressure plates, especially the black ones. That is already more of the Halloween theming kind of house. Now you want to upgrade your farm. It's so boring, cause like look at the oak fences, right? Like it's just oak. That's it. And also there's no, there's nothing like spooky about it. So let's change that, shall we? By starting off with crimson fences. Replace these stupid oak plank fences with a better version of a fence. See, now that already looks better, but we're still missing something. We are still missing a scarecrow. Now, to put a scarecrow, you just have to put a fence down, a fence above it, another fence above it so you don't hit the crops, a fence uh, on the two sides, and a pumpkin on top of the fence post. Now you already have your scarecrow. Now, let's make this place even more spooky than it already is. As you can see, we have these stupid, boring yellow paths. Replace those stupid yellow things and turn them into purple paths. As you can see, it already looks much better than it did before. And you don't want to make it even more creepy? Candles around it. With candles around it, it already looks like a very spooky place to go enter into and looks very Halloween themed. Very, very Halloween themed. As you can see, um, this one. as you can see, it is now a much more Halloween themed house. Now to now let's get back to the this thing here, to the farm. Now there's nothing much else to do to the farm other than that, but there is accessories that you can put onto it, like candles, cobwebs, and much more that I don't even know personally. So I would recommend just putting the candles at the corners of your corner fences and putting cobwebs in between the fences, maybe even in your water, around pretty much just like anywhere you want. See, now that looks like a much more spooky farm. Much more mystical and Halloween-ish. Now, let me tell you a build that I personally think is probably my favorite build. Let me show you the cauldron build. Now, with a, you know what a witch does? A witch has a cauldron. A cauldron full of water of a certain kind of potion. So, Put out a cauldron, put some water in it, take out a potion of whatever kind you want. I would recommend going with green and keep adding on to it until it's completely full. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take your campfire, go underneath it and place the campfire underneath it and put the grass block back. And you have a beautiful cauldron, a beautiful witch's cauldron, I must say. And now you can develop your very own poison. <laughs> Anyways, those are just a few uh, Halloween tips I would definitely give you. Replace your stupid oak wood to uh, mangrove wood or crimson wood. 
they'll look much better in your house. Make sure to add these kinds of paths to show, you know, like, it's Halloween time, baby. I accidentally just did that. Uh, but yeah. uh, make sure to put candles around your house as well for, like, the little candle path. And make sure to also, like, add depth. Add whatever you want to your farm. But these are definitely my best recommendations to customize your farm into a Halloween-themed farm. And here is just a build that you can add to your farm. If you wanted to, you know, it would definitely add a lot to it. These are just basic uh, things that I just taught you. I hope you found them useful and I hope you can use them in your Halloween um, basis. So if you did find this helpful and if you did find anything um, creative about this, make sure to like the video and I will see you guys next time. Peace out, boys.